Good morning. During this time, we add a number of things into the Shimona Esreg and into Tefillah in general. One of those additions in Tefillah is after the paragraph of Yishtabach, many have the custom to include the Tehillim of Shir HaMalos that the Chazim will recite, repeated by the congregation. And this brings up a potential serious issue, Lehalacha. Because the Rishonim, the Rif, and the Rush already point out that from Baruch Sha'omar all the way through the end of Yishtabach, one should not interrupt. As the Kobo explains, this is because of the fact that Psukid Zimra is all about Shabbach and praising God. And we're meant to go straight from that into Shachos itself, starting with Yishtabach and going into, uh, into Tzvila itself. Based on that, Kobo and the Riff and Rush, the Beis Yosef, takes a jump and says, if that's true during Psukid Zimra, then all the more so one should not interrupt between Yishtabach and the bracha of Yotzer or the bracha of Birchos Kriya Shema. However, he says there are some exceptions, such as a situation of a mitzvah, like when someone comes to collect tzedakah or something similar. The Yerushalmi explicitly had said this, that talking between Yishtabach and Yotzer, and Yotzer or the bracha of Birchos Kriya Shema is a uh, tremendous sin, is a grave sin, says the Yerushalmi, which is the way Yishochan Aruch rules. And Hochos Tfilo Shachonot writes that it is in fact a grave sin to speak between Yishtabach and Yotzer. And however, he says the exceptions remain uh, specifically for the need of Tzorech Mitzvah. Now, is Shira Malos Tzorech Mitzvah? So, according to the Arizal, that was absolutely the part of Tfilah and, and was to be added in after Yishtabach. Uh, the Magna Vram seems to indicate that. Uh, this was a custom of many. However, he leaves it but Sarah Ian. And the Mishnah Bura, quoting this Mayan Abraham as well, seems to indicate that uh, it may present a potential problem of being mafsing and interrupting between Yishtabach and Yotzer Or. In fact, Rav Shecht or Shvito is of the opinion that the Menog of Ashkenaz is not to include uh, Shira Malos after Yishtabach. But nonetheless, many Ashkenaz places seem to maintain this practice uh, as we do here at Kins, and many, many shuls uh, do maintain the practice of reciting Shir HaMalos after Yishtabach instituted uh, by the Arizal. Uh, why would this not be an interruption? So as indicated, we, the Shulchan Aruch already explains that situations of mitzvah are exceptions and therefore not considered a half sick. And the Ateris Zikanim from the Maharshal says that likely that is where it comes from because the whole hefsek, the whole problem is only uh, one of divrei batala, of unnecessary speaking, but things like Tehillim, which are shevach, uh, Baruch even if it's not uh, explicitly a tzorech mitzvah per se, says the Ateris Zikanim uh, would be allowed as a function of a continuation of the tefillah and not be considered a hefsek, which is why many places, even Ashkenazi places, do maintain this practice. However, it is important to note that there is some opposition uh, from those who do not observe of the practice.